Good evening. As I said in the service yesterday morning, Advent is a brilliant time in which to spiritually prepare ourselves for Christmas. So often the run-up to Christmas is so full of stuff that it feels like we have just finished a marathon by the time we collapse beside the manger on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning to worship the newborn King. This year is perhaps not going to be quite as busy as some years, which makes it the ideal year to spend a little more time preparing ourselves for what are the more important aspects of Christmas. I know some of us have already lined up a reading program from Uversion or other Bible reading apps. Maybe you've bought a book of daily devotions, that's brilliant. There are a lot of good resources to use at this time of year. But if you haven't sorted that yet, or if you don't have time to read a book during Advent, or you would like something else to listen to as well as what you've got planned, I thought I would share with you the Advent calendar that I bought this year, one that was recommended to me and which I showed in the service yesterday morning. As you may be able to see, I've already hung up the Advent calendar in my garden behind me, in my dreams. But what I want to do this Christmas is to ask the question, who is it that's in the manger? And each of the cards, the 24 cards on my Advent calendar, have a name of Jesus found in the Bible on the other side. My plan is that each morning I will turn one of those cards over. I will share a few thoughts about the name of Jesus for that day what it shows us about Jesus and what Jesus means to us. That's what I'm going to be doing starting off tomorrow, 1st of December. Before that, I need to go and clear some of the snow that's now in my garden, again in my dreams. I hope you have a good evening. And if you would like to, I would love to be able to meet with you in this way over the next few days running up to Christmas.